Today I'm going to show you how to deploy A10B Thunder in Nutanix AHV cluster. As a prerequisite, vThunder installer image has been already ready and downloaded on this machine. Nutanix setup can be accessed via their central controller called Prism or individual cluster can be accessed via cluster IP address. But for this demo, we are accessing the setup via Prism. Once you are logged into Prism, you can find cluster detail under dashboard and then hardware. As you can see, in this setup, we have three different clusters. Each cluster has four hosts attached to that. In this setup, we are running a two cluster with AHV hypervisor and one with ESXi as Nutanix allow us to run different hypervisor on a different cluster. You can see the list of all hosts by going to the host tab under the dashboard. Here you can find the list of all hosts, their hypervisor type, IP address, and name of cluster they're associated with. VM tab under dashboard can show you the list of all VM, plus their host and cluster information. Here you can also search for a VM if you're looking for a specific one. Now let's create a VM to deploy our vThunder solution on Nutanix AHV hypervisor. Before we create VM, we first need to create a storage container so we can upload our vThunder installer file. The storage container is a logical partition where we store our files. And later on, we will link this storage container to our VM during the VM creation process. Now, since a storage container is created, Next step is to upload the image file. For that, we need to go to the setting and click on image configuration. Here, click on upload image and follow the steps like assign the name of the image, select image type. For this demo, we are using the disk type. Now, Click on upload file and select the previously downloaded file from your local machine. For this demo, we are using a QCAR image for vThunder. And now the VM. Let's go back to the setting and VM to create our VM to install vThunder. Here, click on create VM. In the new pop-up window, Assign the name to this VM. Also define the compute resources, for example, number of CPU and memory. As you can see, by default, disk is linked to CD-ROM to load image. But since we already uploaded the image into the storage container, we can delete the CD-ROM. To link the VM from our uploaded image from a storage container, click on create new disk and choose the option clone from image services. Select the uploaded vThunder QCOV2 file from this list. Click add. Now scroll down. Next we need to do is to add the NIC to this VM instance. For that, click on add new NIC. In the pop-up window, select the predefined VLAN for NIC interface IP address and gateway. We need to repeat this step two more times since we need three total interfaces for this topology. One for management subnet, one for client 
and one for server interface. And now for VM host affinity. VM host affinity allow redundancy for your VM instance between multiple hosts in a cluster so your VM can be available even if the original host has failure. Our VM has been created. It will be available under VM table. Here we can power it on and watch the console for loading process. Once done, you should be able to access the vThunder. As you can see in this screen, we already have vThunder deployed with two server for application load balancing. This device is also registered with Harmony Controller for, for you to centrally manage and monitor the analytics. Now let's log in to vThunder from Management Console. vThunder can be configured through the Management Console or our wizard-based GUI called App Center Town. You can access the app centric template by going to the system and app templates. Once you are logged in, you can see multiple different apps available based on your requirement. For this deployment, we are going to use SSL offload app. To add an app, all you have to do just click on the plus sign on top of the app and that will add that app into the left hand side for your easy access. Each app has three tabs, Dashboard, Visit, and Configuration. Visit tab allow you to configure your vThunder with guided step-by-step -step process. As you can see, the first step is to select the deployment choice. For this one, we are selecting an inline. Next step is to define the VIP configuration which include which partition you're gonna use, the IP address, what port you wanted to enable, and also the access lock information. Pool has two parts. But in first part, you configure the load balancing method, persistence, and health monitor. And the second tab allow you to configure all the members you wanted to add into that pool. Once done, next step is to review your configuration, make sure everything looks okay, and click the finish button and that will push the configuration to vThunder. In the future, if you wanted to change anything into the configuration, you go to the configuration tab and then change the configuration based on your requirement. As you can see, app also have a tab for dashboard, which allow you to not only monitor the health of vThunder, but also your server. It also provides the real-time stats for visibility and analytics. With this, we are going to conclude our demo. Thanks for watching.